Hello and welcome to the Bazo Electric video series. This video is going to show you how to implement uh, goose bits within a BE1 Flex uh, over IEC 62850 communication. Uh, in this example I've already set up just a super simple overcurrent scheme. I've got a time and an instantaneous overcurrent uh, driving output one. But maybe I want to block input from let's say a, a goose point coming from somewhere else in the system or if I want to also send that output status over that goose network uh, to again other devices or maybe even trip a breaker over goose messaging which can be done with the flex. Uh, goose messaging is done with indicators in the flex. We're looking at indicators uh, the exact same indicators as for on the front HMI uh, if you're wanting to use those. Uh, if you want to use them, you know, only for goose messaging and not have sh them shown on the HMI, jump ahead a little bit. So maybe start with indicator 20. So let's just say goose output one, for example, if I want to name that. Uh, and you can create as many indicator uh, outputs as you wish, and you can correlate any of them as you wish with goose points. Uh, similarly, remote indicators are going to be the other side of it. So those are going to be goose inputs coming into the box. Input one. I'll just create two or three of them here. Okay, uh, so I've created three of them. Uh, two. There's my third. And if I click on them, I see a couple settings, uh, just a name, uh, label type things, uh, but a default state is going to tell the, the flex to assign a zero or a one, you know, a true or false to that input if it, the heartbeat fails and it for some reason does not get status from that remote device or communication. Now, this is one of the heavy benefits of goose message communication as opposed to contact IO. It's got a heartbeat function built into it. So if that communication line gets cut or gets uh, bogged down or for some reason it's not getting information, you know, across that medium, uh, you can have the relay become a little bit smarter and say, if I assume that I don't know what the status is, what do I want to do about it? And that's that default state right there. And each indicator, uh, each input has its own independent setting. So you can define which ones are priority, which ones are not, and what's your worst case scenarios. Now I jump back into logic and I can go ahead and utilize them. Under status input, I see those remote indicators. I'll grab that one. I could have given them names if I wanted to, uh, but it doesn't really matter. And then under elements, the same place as with all the, the flex indicators, you're going to see them in the elements tab. And now I've got a goose output going out of the box, and I'm looking for a digital point coming from another place. The last piece that we're going to do, and this is just general IEC 6250 setup, is you're going to uh, create a CID file, export that to a some sort of substation configuration software, uh, which is going to map those goose points uh, between different IEDs in the system. I think of it uh, similarly to how AutoCAD is done for contact IO. You're taking a point from device A and you're putting it into a point on device B. Uh, once that software does its thing, you're going to import the SCD file and then you are all set and then BE1 Flex has been programmed for goose messaging. Thank you very much.